you know, Welcome back to another video. In this episode, we are going to be dealing with all of my favorites that I really am favoring for February. So stay tuned. Hello everyone. Welcome back. I hope you're enjoying your day. I am going to go through uh, some of the things that I have been using in February that I really, really enjoy and I want to pass on that information to you guys as soon as possible. Uh, so this is getting into a little bit into March. Um, you know, I've got my little uh, St. Patrick's Day thing going here, so I'm, I'm doing okay. And uh, it's starting to be really beautiful over here in the Big Peach, and the flowers are definitely blooming because I can tell because of my scratchy throat and, um, <clears throat> you know, just all the pollen and everything. Uh, eyes are watering and stuff, so definitely, you know, the allergies are starting to kick up. But I can't complain. It's gorgeous outside. So let's get going. I've got um, a number of things to cover that I've been exploring and using in February that I really like. Um, some of them will be in my other videos and upcoming videos on, you know, a how I'm liking them and how I'm using them and if you should purchase them and you know just more full blow blow on on blown how do you say that yeah whatever reviews in-depth reviews okay so uh, let's get cracking because we got uh, a number of things to get through uh, one of the things that I picked up recently and I didn't think that I would like it as much as I do is this elf uh, poreless face primer I love this thing this is only like I don't know three or four dollars it comes in a pump ta-da and uh, it's just uh, like a silicone well it's kind of whitish but it has this slip to it seriously when you put it on it's just it's like glides. It's like being on an ice ring. It is so gliding and smooth and just gets on your face in lickety split time. You don't have to use a lot and it's already gone. And it's just, oh, it's lovely. It's absolutely lovely. It's got a little bit of a medicinal smell to it. It almost smells like Noxzema, if that makes a difference. Almost like that, um, uh, camphor, camphor type of smell, but I really like it. The smell doesn't bother me, honestly. <clears throat> it keeps my makeup where it's supposed to be uh, and where I put it. And in fact, I'm wearing some under my makeup right now, so just to let you know that, you know, not that it matters. But I, I just consistently have been using this in February. Uh, it doesn't dry out my skin. It doesn't do anything bad to my skin. I haven't broken out from it. So I've just been, it's been on my vanity. It's been, you know, on my makeup vanity, and I have been just absolutely snatching it every single morning, like not even thinking about it, just snatching it putting it on my face and then putting, you know, any makeup or anything I have. So definitely up there for February. Okay. Um, I picked this up at TJ Maxx cause it says TJ Maxx, you see TJ Maxx and it was uh, three ninety nine. dollars I don't know. It says compare at $6 could be more. I'm not sure. This is my cellar water cleansing my cellar water and it's by Jean Pierre is the company. It looks like that. I like it. It's got a you know a little pop top over there. Um, it just okay. The bottle, you know, it it looked cute. I had to get it, and it was only three ninety nine. And I'm like, big deal. You know, I'm just gonna use it. It's my cellar water. You know, it's probably gonna be like my Garnier or anything else that I use. I really like this, guys. It um really 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 takes off your eye makeup and your mascara better than I think the Garnier does honestly I've and you know just in comparison to it um, putting it on a one of those cotton pads and stuff I, I feel like it really really wipes your skin off of everything every makeup anything anything I was pleasantly surprised by this so again I'm just gonna put that up there so you guys can see it I hope 
the lights aren't blowing it out too much. But it's the uh, Jean Pierre one, and it's called Cleansing on it. If you can grab it from TJ Maxx, or maybe it's available at Marshalls, you know, these things are hit and miss. I'll probably never see this again. There was only one more bottle left, but, you know, I just took one because I felt if I know, if I, if I would have known what I know now, I would have taken both bottles, but I just felt like, oh, I'm going to just try it. If it doesn't work out, what the heck, it's only $3.99, right? But I'm very pleasantly surprised and definitely uh, one of the things I've been using. Okay, um, the other thing that I've been really uh, gravitating to, because they have such a cool little display, and I'm sure you guys have seen it now, it's in Walgreens, definitely. Um, I'm, I think they are in CVS as well. I'm not sure. They're definitely in Target. I've seen them in Target. It's the uh, Soap and Glory brand. And I picked this 4-in-1 wash-off deep cleansing milk. Melts away makeup. It just, you know, looked like something I would probably like. So I did, you know, definitely took it. Um, I'm not sure about the price, guys. Um, I'm, I really am not sure. It's maybe about $8, $7, $8, maybe a little more. Uh, but not extravagant, you know. And they had a special on in uh, Walgreens, which is like buy two products, get the third free. So if you catch that discount, that's really a good time to go and try all of these products. But I'm definitely liking it. It has a... Um, a light peach scent to it and it also um, when you cleanse it all it almost has a kind of like a minty I can't explain like a minty um, feel to it on your skin cooling like a cooling menthol menthol maybe that's the word I'm looking for menthol uh, feel to it it's got a really good slip um, I've been using it you know here and there the whole entire month and liking it, no breakouts, no nothing, and it just gets off, you know, any remainder makeup. Uh, after I do the micellar water, I'll do this, and this gets off any last bit of residue that's on there, uh, on my face, and it doesn't dry it out. I pat my face dry, and I'm good to go, so I can't complain. All right, so that's that one. Um, I've been trying this Gold Bond Neck and Chest Firming Cream. Um, so far so good i've been trying it all of february it's been cold here so definitely wanted to put a little on my uh you know neck and my decollete just to try it out and see how i like it it i feel like it's softer like i i do feel like it's made a difference in my skin being softer um rockstar mom actually recommended this she had a video uh, and i can link that below and she was testing out like a um a very expensive machine device along with some creams that it came with that she ordered uh, through I, one of the shopping networks, one of the shopping TV networks. I think it was um, uh, QVC, but I'm not sure. And um, she liked this one better. She actually liked this neck uh, and chest firming cream better than this 250 plus dollar gizmo that she ordered in fact she ended up sending it back because uh you know she didn't find it necessary to keep you know spending that kind of money and then you have to reorder all these expensive creams to keep going with that machine so she definitely didn't like it so because of her i did you know put pick this up this month and i'm really liking it so yeah that's my two cents for it. another uh soap and glory that i really like this is on my vanity right now it's called the six in one multi-active moisture lotion and you know and this is the six in one well this is the four in one wash off this is the six in one i guess they like to use numbers for soap and glory six in one of one and four of one of the other and whatever whatever but this is called the four daily youth lotion hydrate hydrant moisture lotion there you go and this one's being made in Switzerland. Uh, I think the cleanser was being made in uh, England. And it is definitely an uh, overseas uh, product that has recently been introduced into the United States. So this is this one. As you can see, it's pretty small. It's, um, 
Gee, I don't have the actual box that it came in. Oh, here it is. It's in the back. It's 50 mil, 1.69 US fluid ounces. So it's quite a lot. I think it'll, you know, last me a while. And this has such a nice peach scent to it. It has this lovely peaches and cream scent to it. I'll put a little on my hand here so you guys can see it. There we go. You see that? There you go. And it just smells like wonderful peaches and it's a very light uh, moisturizer, very hydrating, definitely, like they said, hydrating, very, I feel the water content in it, definitely. And it, again, it just, it goes into your skin pretty quickly. Um, and you can just use it under your makeup. I have it on my vanity. I put that on. I wait for a couple of minutes just to, you know to let it soak in and I'm ready to go to put my makeup on and it's been really really nice I mean it's kept my skin you know hydrated and all that another cream that I have been trying and again um, I went into Walgreens uh, and I've got a story up on that about um, you know getting some foundation and blah 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 but this was the number seven boots uh, you know uh, display which happens to be right next to the Soap and Glory display. So it's like they're they're in cahoots. They're just like right next to each other. Wherever you go, if you go on Walgreens, if you go in um, uh, CVS, I mean, they're literally smack dab one next to each other. So you can't help but notice boots if you're looking at Soap and Glory and vice versa. But this uh, gal there, we were talking about makeup and I did wind up buying a a makeup and I've got a video on um, in fact it, the makeup that I'm wearing today is the number seven boots luminate and lift makeup and I just did a uh, you know get ready with me or whatever video and put that on there so that it that is the foundation I'm wearing today so just in, you know just FYI just saying it um, and this is the number seven lift and luminate day cream and she really recommended this. She said it's uh, it's hyperallergenic. It's got sunscreen, broad spectrum 15 in it. And again, you can wear it under your makeup. I have been wearing it under my makeup. And it's just a lovely cream. It's a lot uh, denser than that little tube is from uh, Soap and Glory. This is how this looks like. And it's, uh, it's, a, it's a really nice texture cream. It's, it doesn't smell like anything special, but it's definitely a great cream to have on hand. I'm really enjoying it, and it goes right into your skin. It's just really hydrating. Again, very refreshing, a very refreshing cream to have. I'm not sure about the whole lift, you know, blah, blah factor in it, but um, it can't hurt. You know, it's just uh, one of these really nice creams to have on hand. Um, and... This one will run you a little bit. I think it's uh, probably about 20 or $25 um, around that, maybe a little less than that, uh, but definitely worth it. And I thought, okay, why not? You know, I'll try it out. And, uh, you know, so there's that. I'll just show you guys. There you go. And by the way, and this is so funny, just to let you know, I'm not using a filter. Do I have to? Do a disclaimer now like every time I'm up here talking to you guys because of this whole you know this whole Wayne Goss thing where he um, he went on this whole thing about uh, supposedly allegedly Bobby Brown using filters on her models and she put her hand and she was doing some kind of application and then her hand was so smooth and nice and beautiful because apparently there was a camera filter on it and then when she moved her hand quickly away the filter came off and you could see her you know wrinkly hands or whatever um so i just wanted to throw that out there i am au naturel i don't know what filters are i've never used filters this is a freaking iphone that i'm using you know it's an iphone 6 and that is what i have been videoing um from the get-go for you guys so uh, you know you you, you know you, look there's a pimple right there i'm i'm not perfect this is this is it except for what I tell you I have on my face, that is the only thing that's on my face. So I just wanted to put it out there for you guys. I know I'm being silly, I just wanted to say it. Um, 
The other thing that I've really liked in February is this NYX Total Control uh, Foundation, Drop Foundation, and that's this one here. And the, my color is, uh, well, it says TCDF06 Vanilla. So this is the vanilla one. Uh, let me get the front of the bottle so you see it, guys. And I've been enjoying this. This is actually one of these... Um, things I didn't think I'd enjoy as much as I did. It, I've gotten compliments on my skin when I wear it. It comes in a pipette dropper. It's very liquidy. Let me see if I can, you see that? Do you see? It's almost like tinted water. It's very, very liquidy. It comes with a special application brush uh, that you use to put on the makeup with. And again, I've done another uh, you know get ready with me tutorial on wearing this foundation and I'll, I'll link it below so you guys can go and check it out or I'll link it up here I'll probably link it up here as um, as a action clickable item so that's easier for you guys to just you know click on it um, and I really I've, I've surprised at myself on how much I liked it it's not a heavy foundation it's it's really a light um, Saying that it's medium is a stretch. It's not going to cover much, honestly, guys, but it'll illuminate your face and it'll radiate your face, and it's just going to give you that certain something, something uh, on your skin that people are going to go like, whoo, she looks really healthy right now. She looks really good. Um, so I've been liking it. I really liked it, and I'm going to continue to use this definitely in the summertime because it's light enough where it's not going to... Um, I just don't I don't like the full or heavy makeup in the summertime you know you're sweating you're hot outside it's it's it just nah it doesn't it doesn't work with me I like the light tinted moisturizers or very light foundations and it's definitely going to be in my repertoire uh, for the summer so I got, that's it so uh, again another kind of a surprise for me I just threw this uh, in my basket as I was walking around I guess Walgreens are one of those drugstores. It's called the Vaseline Lip Therapy, and it's called Rosy Lips Helps Heal Dry Lips. And it comes in a tin, and that's how much I've been using, you see. And it only takes a little to go a long way. It's basically tinted Vaseline is what it is. It's just, um, and it's got a hint of, it's just got a pretty smell to it, maybe a hint of rose. I'm not sure, it, you know, it doesn't smell like much, but. Um, I'll just put a little on my hand. You see, that's all it is. It's you see that hint of tint on it, hint of tint, right? That little rosy tint. And sometimes that that is all you need. Sometimes to just uh, go out the door. You know, uh, I just keep it in my pocketbook. And if I need a little, uh, especially if it's you know if maybe it's a little windy out there in February and it's a colder day, but I want a little something on my lips, a little tint, but I want some barrier uh, for the weather I've been using this and I love it I absolutely love it it's just like boom in the purse boom you know go in there and um, it happened to migrate on my nightstand too the other night so I don't know how it got little legs and got up there but um, I suspect some other people in my household were trying it out and just left it there but um, I put it back in my purse so you know none the wiser I won't I won't say names or anything, but you know, he uh, probably needed something on his lips. He probably didn't realize it has a light tint to it. He just probably put it on and that was it. And he went like, oh, this is tinted, oops. You know, and like gingerly, like really put it down on my nightstand very quickly and walked away like, it wasn't me, didn't happen. Nope, nope, nope. But anyway, that's, that's it for now. That's it for today. I hope you're doing really well. Keep hydrated, as I say, and um, please go ahead and subscribe to me. You know, it'll be up here somewhere, my subscription button. So go ahead and uh, hopefully you'll subscribe. Hopefully you'll like what you see. Please leave me a thumbs up and also any comments. Uh, I, I love to uh, look at all your comments. I love to respond to them. I am not snooty and above uh responding to anybody as far as uh you know if especially positive you know comments and everything like that i'm hoping that everything's positive and not negative but um if you have some comments below or you have questions below about any of these products 
leave them below. I usually monitor my, um, my social media and I'll see your comments below and I will do my best to respond to you guys in a timely manner and with accurate information. Okay. And I do not give fake news either. So no fake news here and no filters. So just know that. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.